Hello everybody. This is Ali Inan signing in with yet another video on prepositions. Today, I'll discuss the usage of in, on, into, and onto. We generally use in and on to talk about the positions of things, where they are, and into and onto to talk about directions and destinations, where things are going. Let's compare a few sentences. A moment later, the ball was in the goal. Or the ball rolled slowly into the goal. It would be incorrect to say roll slowly in the goal. Another sentence, she was walking in the garden. The cat's on the roof again. Or then she walked into the house. And how does it get onto the roof? It's quite clear that we are using in and on for positions of things where they are and into and on do to talk about directions and destinations where things are going. You must also note that into and on to are normally written as single words. However, in British English, it's also possible to write on to as two separate words. In and on are also used for movement. After some verbs, for example, throw, jump, push, put, fall, we can use both in and into, or on and on to, to talk about directional movement. We prefer into, on to, when we think of the movement itself, and in or on, when we think more of the end of the movement the place where somebody or something will be. Let's compare a few sentences. The children keep jumping into the flower beds. Go and jump in the river. Another set of sentences in the experiment. We put glowing magnesium into jars of oxygen. Or could you put the ham or beef in the fridge? He was trying to throw his hat onto the roof, throw another log on the fire. Views in and on after sit down and arrive. He sat down in the armchair and I sat down on the floor. It would be incorrect to say or write he sat down into the armchair or I sat down onto the floor, etc. The correct usage would be using in and on with these expressions. It would be correct to write or say, we arrive in Athens at midday. It would be quite unusual to say or write, we arrive into Athens. Into is also used for change. We normally use into after verbs suggesting change. For example, when she kissed the frog, it changed into a handsome prince. It would have been incorrect to say or write, change in a handsome prince. It's correct to say or write, can you translate this into Chinese? It is incorrect to say or write, translate this in Chinese. Cut can be followed by into or in. Cut the onion in small pieces or into small pieces. Well, note the expression in half. I broke it in half is correct. Into half would be incorrect. In and to are used in combinations as well and sometimes separately. After expressions like go to school or go to work, we use in not to to say where the school or work etc is located. He went to school in Bristol, not he went to school to Bristol. You must be careful with this usage. We use in or at not the, not the preposition to after arrive and land. We arrive in Bangkok on Tuesday morning. Not we arrive to Bangkok. What time do we land at Barcelona? Not land to Barcelona. This is Ali Inan signing off today. But I'll be back soon with some more interesting videos on English grammar. Do not forget to subscribe like share and do press the bell icon so that you get notified 
whenever a new video is uploaded. Till then, bye-bye.